Well, local law enforcement incorporating a new type of training into their job to try and de-escalate a situation without having to use physical force. They've been training all week long, and our Laura Wilson in studio with more on what they're learning. Laura. Well, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office tells me they come across so many calls now where they're dealing with either mental illness or some type of crisis situation. One point they really hammered home today during these interactions is to treat a disturbed individual as a person rather than a problem. So if I have to go out, I'm going out on my own terms. They may just be actors. I'm so pissed off. But these scenarios are an everyday reality for law enforcement. When people are having a manic episode or contemplating suicide, uh, it's totally accurate on, on the, the way they're portraying it. It's part of an all-week crisis intervention program for CSPD and the El Paso County Sheriff's Office to better understand mental illness and the role it plays in crisis calls. A lot of verbal de-escalation, a lot of showing compassion, empathizing with people, trying to get them so that we can build a rapport with them. Officers and deputies were put to the test Thursday using what they learned in the classroom. I don't want to talk to you, you clear? To de-escalate a high-stress situation without using force. The scenarios are supposed to be intense and for some, even emotional. Just get out, Katie. It did catch me so off guard, um, but I worked through it and knowing, um, you know, if that happens on patrol, how I can kind of maintain that and control that, that's, it's, it's very helpful. Would you come out here and talk with me outside the door? The El Paso County Sheriff's Office and CSPD vowing to eventually put all of their staff through this training. It's really a mind shift change, not just trying to get our own agenda and get to calls for service as fast as we can. That is very, very important, uh, but we need to serve the people that we're with. The only thing I would say on Now there were four different scenarios and they're also meant to test the limits of officers and deputies so they can recognize when it's necessary to call for backup. Always watching out for you, El Paso County, Laura Wilson, News 5.